For most of us, the first time that we use a keyboard, we are staring down at it, searching for each letter and using our index fingers when we finally find it. We stare in amazement at people who never look at their flying fingers, perfectly typing at 75 words per minute. With practice, everyone can achieve speed and perfection. And like most things, you have to start at the beginning with the basics. Each of your fingers has a home key, where it should rest when it is not being used. We'll start with your left hand. The pinky sits on the A, the ring finger sits on the S, the middle finger on the D, and the index finger on the F. Your thumb sits on the space bar. Now let's go over your right hand. The pinky sits on the semicolon, the ring finger on the L, the middle finger on the K, and the index finger on the J. The right thumb also sits on the space bar. Your fingers should be curved and the palm of your hand should float above the keyboard. To help you find your finger placement without looking at the keyboard, most keyboards have a small raised or indented dot on the F and J keys. The first lessons in Keyblaze help you become comfortable with the entire home row, including G and H. You will use your left index finger for G and your right index finger for H. Instead of staring at your keyboard, trying to remember which finger is on which key, look at the keyboard on the screen. The key will light up in blue and the hand will show you which finger you should use. If you make a mistake, no problem. Keyblaze highlights the backspace key and demonstrates that you should use your right pinky to erase the mistake and try again. Once you complete the lesson, you have the option to repeat the exercise, start the next exercise, or skip an exercise. For new users, we recommend doing each exercise until you are completely comfortable. The repetition makes it so that your fingers can find the keys before you even realize that you are thinking about it. Once you have perfected the home row, you will learn the other letters assigned to each finger. The colored zones in this image show you which keys belong to which finger. You probably notice that you have two options for the space bar. Use the thumb of the opposite hand used to type the last letter of a word to press the space bar. For example, if you are typing the word hand, you used your left middle finger to type the D. In this case, use your right thumb to type a space after the word. As you are learning, remember to focus on accuracy. Speed will naturally increase as you become confident with your hand placement. Continue working your way through each set of lessons and soon you will know the top row, bottom row, capital letters, numbers, symbols, and even the 10 key numeric keyboard in addition to the home row. As you are practicing, remember to stay relaxed and tap each key lightly. Tensing your arms, wrists, or fingers is exhausting and will slow you down. Excessive force is not only destructive to your keyboard, but will also slow you down. For more Keyblaze tutorials, visit the address shown on your screen.